Welcome to the Bright Planning Channel. And today we're going to be doing something a little bit different. I'm starting a new segment, experimenting. You know, YouTube channel is growing. Really appreciate your support. Please subscribe, guys, and set up that notification so that you can get all the content that I present to you. I'm an accountant. I'm a techie. I'm so many things. The only thing I want to do is just want to enjoy life, and I want to share my experiences with you. So that being said, I'm looking to start this new series called Google Daily, just basically the news that appear on my Google News Feed and I feel like some interesting topics come up there that I want to talk about but not necessarily in isolation. So it's going to be a mixed bag of news and you know some information and I'd like to add my thoughts and you know share them with you guys and start a conversation on my socials as they appear on the screen. So let's get into it and let's check out what Google has for us today. My name is Brad Pazzi and my 7 years experience as an accountant and wealth advisor has made me realize that people lack a functional relationship with money. I'm here to help. So this one says Donald Trump's best friend billionaire casino mogul Phil Ruffin sees a hidden jackpot in the pandemic. Ooh, now this is some serious juicy stuff. Let's get into that. Alright. Really to summarize this article without reading too much, remember it's from Forbes.com, I'll put the links to all of these articles, is that as a business person it's very important for you to have a killer instinct, it's very important for you to be in tune with the market, as you can see very very early in his business career this guy was already into you know understanding that hey people run out of cash and when people run out of cash you basically have an advantage over them, this is you know borderline on the ethics part but of course you know let me not get into that argument but yeah there's some ethical issues there but obviously you can see that the opportunity is that property markets are going down and you know during moments of crisis those that are cash traps are just vulnerable and those with the cash they can come in and basically broker a deal that favors them because the ones that need cash they're gonna basically sell at a loss because they just need cash they are not looking for profit they just want to you know get rid of an asset that's maybe costing them money and to preserve cash flows you'd rather let go of that asset because when you get assets you need to maintain them there's always a running cost or some sort of maintenance cost and if you don't have the money as it is right now when money is not coming in you gotta let it go and give it to somebody else so i figure that's the opportunity that they're talking about which of course if you're a billionaire with all the money you can do it in south africa right now interest rates are lower than ever um you know there's been property uh, uh you know opportunities in terms of you know transfer costs have been reduced and it's really a great time to buy if you have the cash of course of course if you're looking to buy via credit and you have the ideal situation of a good credit score plus cash you can really you know use the opportunity to get some very nice assets that you can you know flip and obviously sell at a later stage at a higher value or you know generate some income let's cover this last one let's make it juicy dstv right yeah so this is from the times live and the topic goes to say i can't be paying 500 for repeats over 140,000 demand price cut from dstv i 100 percent support this um this is very key guys um dstv is really you know making a killing right now or not a killing but let's just say they are not being affected as we are i mean number one sports channels have been cancelled and for me i pay premium why not because i love watching tv or whatever in fact i watch less tv i watch more youtube netflix showmax and all these online platforms then i watch dstv the only reason why i got dstv was simply because of sports and more particularly formula one you can't find formula one in any other package except premium and we'll talk about that let's get into this article DSTV subscribers have expressed their frustration of multi-choice, accusing the company of recycling all content and charging high prices they cannot afford, particularly during the lockdown. I mean, that's says everything. All of you guys, 90%, if 99.99% of you guys watching this and are paying DSTV you know, subscriptions, you guys are feeling this. And I challenge you right now to like, 
to comment and share this video if you are definitely going through that and i miss all of you guys so honestly speaking this is ridiculous but yeah let's carry on as of thursday over 140,000 people had signed an online petition okay i'm signing that petition too so 140,001 <laughs> demanding a price drop of a payment or a payment holiday for the duration of the lockdown it was launched one week ago by Sfiso Gwala, you are the man, who lamented that multi-choice ignored their concerns by refusing to reduce prices. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Multi-choice CEO Mark Rayner at the time reiterated the company's dedication to giving its viewers the best content at affordable prices. Oh. Sharing their reasons for signing the petition, many lamented that lack of new content and being unable to pay for the services during the lockdown. Prices are too high, can't afford it, wrote Uda was on down. I can't be paying 500 for repeats. Multi-choice needs to reduce their prices during the lockdown or give payment relief as most of us are at home due to the pandemic, says Daniel Mute. I want the prices to be reduced as there's no sports but repeats of other programs. That's definitely my sentiment. I mean, once again, let's really rationalize this thing. We, people like me that are paying premium, right? And this is not to isolate any, I'm just making a point. Premium is life sports. It's evident. If you look at the roster of DSTV's channels and stuff, and you want to compare all packages, you realize that from the lowest package to the main package, there's very small differences in terms of, you know, the channel options that you're given. However, when it comes to sports, that's where the problem is because that's where premium has the bulk of all the sports that's available and that's where they make their money. I've heard back in the past that the argument is, uh, is because of the licensing that they have to pay and all that, and that's fine. But what about now? There's no sports going on. And mind you, if you're watching sports, we are talking about something that, you know, live sports predominantly is on weekends. So we're talking about eight days out of a month, whereby we have sports, live sports, that the bulk of our premium is weighted upon. I mean, we are paying for something that we watch eight times a month, sometimes during the week, sometimes, very, very, very seldom, not all the time. We paying for eight days of premium content that we watch on only on weekends now the worst thing and this is where we are catching dstv now people are staying at home usually you would be at work between nine up until four typically you'd be at work now the people that are not you know uh, the, the people that will be watching at those times are the ones that are not paying so they don't feel the pinch they can watch repeats they don't mind they can watch DSTV, they can binge all day. But now, the people that are paying DSTV accounts, they are staying at home. And guess what? They are starting to realize that, wow, DSTV is pointless. For me right now, I watch more news than any other channel. And most of the news channels are, especially, what's this? The news, the newsroom, newsroom channel, uh, uh, channel. I watch newsroom practically 80% when I switch on the TV. The minute I switch from a PlayStation or from anything else, other than DSTV, the first thing that I go to is the news. And I end up staying there. And the news is quite toxic because once you've watched about 30 minutes to an hour of news, you've watched everything. And everything else is just, you know, horrible news or just, just depression waiting to happen there. So at the end of the day, what are we doing, DSTV? How's that the best content? You go to DSTV to catch up. What do you find there? You find series that you don't even watch. I only watch 10% of watch catch up with me. And the minute I watch, I catch up within two hours, three hours, I'm done. I'm done catching up. I still have a further 10 to 15 hours of TV that I could possibly use. And then I'm paying so much money. Oh, let me tell you something. I pay 149 per month for Netflix. This is DSTV is 950. And right now, you know, before the pandemic, I would make an argument for DSTV and say, hey, because of live sports, we appreciate it. Even Netflix does not give live sports. But now, where's the live sports? The competitive advantage is gone. So DSTV needs to do the right thing, and I agree with this article. They need to reduce the prices. Payment holidays don't... Uh, is something that I, I don't want to, you know, even entertain. Payment holidays are just... just no. 
We don't want payment holidays because payment holidays extend. We need relief. Like right now, because right now things are happening right now. There's no, you know, pause button on this corona thing. We need relief right now. And this team needs to do the right thing. Yeah, guys. So you guys will go through the rest of this article. I think I've finished it all. Okay. Anyway. Yes, once again, please comment. Let's talk about these articles. Let's see what further engagements will happen. Maybe this will be a platform to sort of have a you know ripple effect and cause effects change, whatever the case may be. But yeah, once again, guys, please subscribe. We're right planning more tips coming up business, finance, all sorts of you know business related tips are coming your way. Subscribe and yeah, love you guys. Thanks.